Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning and very warm welcome to the Riga Graduate School of Law. Uh, I think we are here because of uh, smartphones. Uh, some of us, quite literally, uh, uh, may have used Google Maps or some other navigation application to actually get to this building. Uh, but uh, more fundamentally, um, uh, smartphones exemplify uh, the growing role of uh, technologies uh, in our lives and our growing reliance on technologies. And I'm not talking about, you know, specifically IT, but uh, technologies more in general. Um, for example, uh, we... Um, well, we entrust computers with maintaining climate in our homes. Uh, we keep our family photos in some cloud, or uh, uh, we uh, may even rely on advice given by artificial intelligence when we contact a customer service of a company. Uh, and this use of technologies has um, uh, given a tremendous boost to uh, the global economy. Uh, we have seen uh, numerous new products and, and services come into being. Uh, we have also seen uh, uh, completely new business models and entirely new uh, industries emerging as a result of this. Uh, what is equally important, I think technologies have empowered the customer. Uh, It has provided uh, easier access to uh, goods and services and uh, essentially made uh, markets more competitive. Uh, therefore, I think uh, technologies have uh, given a very substantial contribution to the welfare of uh, individuals and indeed societies um, in general, but the use of uh, technologies has also uh, side effects. Uh, collection of personal data has reached unprecedented levels. Uh, our choices, our consumer choices, uh, may be heavily affected by artificial intelligence, by you know what Facebook suggests to us based on some unknown uh, algorithms. And also profits may be increased um, at the expense of deficiencies in cross-border consumer protection. So uh, there, there are both wanted and unwanted consequences of, of technologies in our lives, but the regulatory framework, at least in the European Union, which is the core geographical area uh, that this conference is about, so it lags behind those rapid changes. Uh, and uh, oftentimes we think about this lagging uh, as, a, uh, as a function of the, the sheer speed, uh, the, the fast pace of, of the changes. But I think there is at least one more uh, other reason. Uh, there seems to be a growing tension between uh, the established value system in uh, democracies and the demands of the digital economy. So th th there is a kind of a uh, privacy paradox, if you will. Uh, on one hand, individuals claim to be concerned about their privacy. Uh, and they are probably also aware of what the use of technology does to their privacy. But on the other hand, uh, very few of us actually take steps to uh, reduce the threat that is posed by the use of technologies. And it is exactly this paradox that prompted RGSL to hold a series of conferences on fundamental rights in the digital age. Uh, uh, with the generous support of the Jean Monnet program, uh, we have reflected on consumer protection and fundamental rights uh, in June last year. Uh, 
We reflected on competition, big data, and fundamental rights in December last year, and uh, more recently on constitutional uh, law and fundamental rights. We have had uh, rich discussions indeed, and um, it would be very difficult uh, for me to summarize it in a, uh, a five-minute statement, but again, to demonstrate the reliance on technologies, all those presentations can be seen on our YouTube channel. Uh, so this is a concluding event of the series of the conferences, and we want to take stock of those uh, valuable discussions that we have had. Uh, but I hope that we will also analyze the ongoing changes in the regulatory framework uh, and also lay out directions for further research, particularly in view of the changes, not only within the European Union itself, for example, Brexit, the new uh, European Parliament elections, but also in view of the changes in the global context in which uh, the European uh, Union uh, operates. And that is uh, rise of terrorism, um, changes in the ba uh, balance of power between East and West, shall we use the, this old metaphor, and others. So um, I wish you uh, a very, very good uh, conference. Uh, I wish you uh, enriching discussions. And uh, I hope to see you uh, also at the uh, party this afternoon. Thank you.